Welcome back to Base Camp, WNZ. As the title says, I'm working on model number two of my spring filter sediment uh, trap. Here it is. Here's what we're going to do this time. We went from the five-gallon bucket with the holes in it, had too much cloth and too fine a cloth. It actually stopped up, and we uh, couldn't get any water to come through at all. So I'm going to take you on the build of this thing. I've had people ask for detailed builds, so I'm going to do as much detail as I can. This is about how it's going to sit. The pipe in that spring box, I'll show you that I have to clamp this thing to. The, it is 11 inches from the bottom, the cement floor, up to the pipe, which is about where this thing's sitting right here. And what I did, because of the weight of this thing, I didn't want it hanging down into the mud or into the sediment. I put two half-inch galvanized bolts right here. I drilled through and just bolted them through the end of the four inch coupling right there. But this is basically how it's gonna sit in the spring box. And now I'm gonna take this thing down there and put it in the spring. Okay, for part of this build, of course we're gonna slide this pipe right through this thing. And in order to do that, they've got this ledge right here where the pipe's supposed to stop. So we're gonna just put a plain old carbide die grinder in the drill and we're gonna grind this whole ring around get rid of it so we can slide the pipe straight through here it is Got it ground down, and pipe will fit in there, so that's good enough. That's what we're after. Here it is. This is the internal part of the new sediment trap. And now we're doing the exact same thing we did on the little pipe. What we're gonna do, three sets of holes on these.
Now, just like everything else, we don't really glue any of this stuff together. We just put it in. This will be a little bit hard. But we'll stick the pipe in here, this piece here, and this will get glued right there to hold it in place after we attach the screen wire to here and the same with the outside pipe. So basically this is what it's gonna look like. When we get ready, we're gonna glue this. I'll take you along then. This is the coupling then that will then hook it inside the spring. And then we'll have the two inch piece of pipe will be up here wrapped in a fine screen this one will have a coarser screen on the outside. And of course, all this is just pushed on. We put a little Teflon on that thing, not that it'll matter. This is just pushed on so we can break it all apart to clean it. Okay, so this is a piece of stainless steel screen wire that I've just laid around this piece of four inch pipe. And this is a plastic welding iron that I just painstakingly took the time to go around. It took forever, but melted the PVC pipe through the screen and kind of holds it on. Went around the ends and everything else. Put rubber bands on it to kind of hold it down. And then before we put it in the spring, this is one of these um, socks that you put around like a piece of four inch perforated drain tile. We're gonna put this over top of it. And hopefully it won't stop it up. We're gonna do the inside one now with a finer piece of screen. Well, this is the inner piece right here. And this is the finer screen right here with the sunlight shining on it. You might be able to, you can kind of see through it. Here's my fingers underneath. But this is like 100 mesh screen, which means there's like 100 wires per inch. Um, I went to try to plastic weld it to it, and it's so fine I couldn't get the PVC to glue to come up, the PVC pipe to melt and come through the screen. So I used some food grade epoxy glue and uh, just cut some PVC pipe down to make strips to hold the ends down and this is just a ring of pipe slit in the middle used as a c-clamp to hold it while the glue set and we just glued this on it but it's the same thing uh we decide i decided to push this all the way into the pipe slide the rubber coupling down and for right now i'm not going to glue the inside pipe to the fitting we're going to see what it does we're going to take this thing down, try to install it now, and see if it's going to work long term. Well, I don't know how well this is going to show up. Right, right there's the pipe that goes out, and the water's just flowing in it. So it's, uh, looks like a little bit of sediment's come in since I cleaned it, but... This is the end of the pipe I have to hook that rubber fitting to. So let me do that. I don't want to drop my phone in the water. So let me get back here, hang upside down and try to get it done. Well, there it is. I had to put it on a little bit of an angle, a little bit too long to be in there, but uh, we're going to go down and see what the outflow of the cistern is. But water should be going through it with no problem. Here we are, we're down here at my water cistern. This is the overflow coming out of the cistern. It's still flowing pretty good. So of course all the streams are nice and clean and the sock is clean and we'll see just how it goes. Well, this is the model two of the sediment filter trap and screening. This of course is my two water cisterns we pump from. But if I could ever be a help to you on water, power, solar, sanitation, homestead planning, the email's here at the bottom. Give me a call. 
And also, if you would on this video, comment whether or not I went into enough detail or too much detail on how to build this thing. I was getting a bunch of videos and a bunch of emails and comments on the videos that I didn't show how to build everything and didn't go into it enough. So let me know how it is. I appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up button. I learned that helps with my subscriber rate and my where I sit in YouTube with all my couple thousand subscribers. I appreciate you being subscribers. Like it, share it, hit thumbs up. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.